How's it going everybody? Uh, I'm going to do an update today of my Crystal Beast deck profile. Um, been absolutely loving playing this deck lately. So, alright, so for starters we got two copies of Rainbow Dragon. Uh, really easy to search Rainbow Dragon and um, it's going to give me access to a lot of cards because of another card. Uh, three copies of Sapphire Pegasus, the best Crystal Beast. Uh, let's you search out Crystal Beast to your spell trap cards on. Two copies of Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. Uh, you're going to go into this really early. It's going to get into the Rainbow Dragon and uh, can help set up OTKs. Two copies of Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. And then one copy of each of the rest. So Topaz Tiger, Amber Mammoth, Cobalt Eagle, Emerald Tortoise and Amethyst Cat, and that is going to do it for the monsters. Uh, no hand traps in here because we're just trying to up the consistency. So Then, spell cards, three copies of Rainbow Bridge, three copies of Crystal Bond, Three copies of Awakening of Crystal Ultimates. This is why Rainbow Dragon is so important, really, um, because you got to reveal an ultimate crystal monster. But this is absolutely amazing because it is Crystal Beacon, Crystal Promise. Um, it's a search card. It's everything you could ever want it to be, and more. Three copies of Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. Uh, can search out everything. Can bounce. Gives extra normal summons. Great card. Two copies of Golden Rule. Um, Golden Rule plus uh, Crystal Bond is like pretty much instant game because you can get like Rainbow Dragon and Appalosa and uh, board with Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, of which we run two. And one copy of Crystal Blessing, one copy of Crystal Beacon, two. Foolish Burial Goods, one Called by the Grave, one Triple Tax Talent, one Super Polymerization, and then for Traps, one Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, one Crystal Conclave, and one Crystal Miracle. The Rainbow Bridge of Salvation is going to be your main target for the Foolish Burial Goods, um, and can just lead to huge, huge pluses. That does it for the spell traps. And then finally the extra deck. We have one copy of Rainbow Overdragon. Um, oh, I didn't organize these very well. Uh, one copy of uh, Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. One copy of Garura. One copy of Mud Dragon of the Swamp. For Xyz Monsters, we have number 60, Dagaris the Timeless, Abyss Dweller, and number 41, Baguska. And then for Lynx, we're going to play one copy of Cross Sheep, one copy of IP Mascarena, one copy of Cherubini, one copy of World Dragon Zelantis, one copy of Apollosa, one Saryuja, one Underworld Goddess, and finally one Zeus to wrap it all out. Sorry, I had <laughs> Zeus was underneath the other cards. Uh, but that's it, that's the deck. Um, does great, really great control deck likes to go first. Uh, you'll usually want to end on a board with like an Apollosa. A, uh, a rainbow over dragon and a couple of crystals with rainbow ruins to give you the spell trap negates uh, you can use you know a lot of times you can put up a board with like three four or five six negates uh, no problem plus you know this guy but don't go into your into your big guy until turn two when you can actually kill I know that might sound like <laughs> a duh move but uh, you'd be surprised. Alright, so that's the deck profile. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, peace.